First at five breaking news less than an hour ago. City officials in Griffin telling us five tornadoes hit the area last week and tonight they are now in recovery mode. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Bellamy and I'm Faith Jesse and the trial of destruction destroyed homes left thousands in the dark for those families impact at the road to recovery could stretch on for weeks, even months. And Tracy A. McPeer joining us live from Spalding County. And Tracy, you just spoke to officials about how they're trying to help as residents salvage what they can from their destroyed homes. That's right. Just within the last hour, Spalding County announced their game plan to help residents who lost everything on Thursday. There are now two Red Cross shelters set up, and they've also set up two different phone hotlines. One is to help residents get food and shelter help. The other to help them get help with mental health. Now that's good news for residents we spoke with today who are right now just trying to figure out what to do next. Um, our family link split up right now because we don't have a home. Um, we don't have a vehicle. Beth Manessis and her two teenage sons have lived at Pine Glen and Griffin for the last two years until Thursday when a tornado touched down. At 4.33, we got the National Weather Service alert to take cover immediately, and I yelled at my kids to get in the laundry room, and within 15 seconds, the first tree hit the house. She says it only got worse from there. And we waited in the laundry room as more trees hit the house and we felt the wind lifting our house. As soon as the storm passed, Manessa says she and another neighbor who's also a nurse started checking for people who were hurt. And dislocated shoulders, broken arms, um, a lot of scrapes and contusions, mm -hmm. um, people that didn't have access to their medication so their blood sugars were dropping or skyrocketing. And By today, most of her neighbors have left and now crews are cutting down trees and removing debris. But Manessa says they're still trying to figure out where they'll go. The initial shock has worn off and it's just awe. A lot of it's awe that, you know, so many of us survived. Now, the school district here also told us that more than 400 students' families were displaced by these storms. So while teachers will return to school on Wednesday, that's not the case for students. They say they will announce that return date later on during the week. Now, of course, we'll have all of that information as well as those two hotline numbers on our website, 11alive.com.